Hello, I'm Greg Nichols, s and advisor for HDIAC. Today we're going to talk about 3D printing and some of the applications and alternative energy. When we talk about alternative energy, what we mean are technologies that go beyond the conventional uses of coal, oil, and natural gas. Typically we mean technologies such as solar, wind, geothermal, tidal, things like that. 3D printing is a technology that has actually been around for quite some time, but has seen some uh, very good improvements and the ability to uh, be more efficient recently. 3D printing is also known as additive manufacturing. So what we do is we actually can make a product uh, one layer at a time. And this has a lot of advantages. Uh, the biggest one would be that it reduces the amount of waste that is actually produced because instead of using a traditional method where we take a piece of material and we carve away pieces and parts until we get the product that we want, with the 3D printing, we actually are making this product um, one layer at a time, as I said earlier, so we don't have any excess uh, material. The other advantage that it has is time. Uh, we can actually print these things um, on sites or near where it's going to be used, and so we don't have to wait for travel or to ship anything. And so that has obviously some big advantages in terms of uh, conserving time and making sure that projects are completed earlier. Uh, than they normally would be if they had to be shipped from another factory somewhere else. So some of the specific examples that we see with 3D printing and some of these alternative energy uses um, are in solar panels. Uh, 3D printers can be used to print components of photovoltaic cells, which are the actual uh, components that collect the energy from the sun. We've seen uh, some remarkable improvements in efficiency with uh, solar energy and solar panels uh, from this new technology. Another application of 3D printing is to actually create components for wind turbines. Uh, some of the new composite materials, such as carbon fiber, uh, can be mixed with more traditional plastics like ABS and can actually make components of the wind turbines. Uh, these could be printed on site and assembled instead of being shipped from another place. And one of the last components that we see with uh, 3D printing would be in the lithium ion batteries. Um, some of the national laboratories that the Department of Energy owns have actually been doing some research in regards to um, how 3D printing can improve uh, the casings of these batteries, but also printing uh, the chemical cells themselves. So thank you for listening today. And uh, as always, uh, stay tuned for our next Tech Talk. And in the meantime, follow us on Twitter and go to hdi.org for more information.